Yeah. 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 Mule deer right next to the yeah. road here. That's funny. <laughs> and do I take it on Junior's next one? You can pull by if you want. <laughs> oh, two of them. Three. Oh, yeah, three. Let's see if I can... That one went down under the trees, kind of. Mm -hmm. I think it's a doe and two fawns. Yeah. <laughs> Black tailed deer. Oh. More commonly known because of mule as mule deer because of those ears. <laughs> you decided to pull off here because over there in the distance there I think you see the they're not bison for sure. I'll have to take a closer look at it. Because I know at this park they have also have steers, longhorn steers. It looks like that could be them. If we can focus. Yeah, I kind of. Yeah, they're longhorn. Well, the kind of cattle that would have been here that when Theodore Roosevelt was here, they have some Roman here that's their steers, so they don't uh, reproduce or anything. <laughs> and they don't uh, breed with the buffalo. Wow. Taking a look again. Since we're here at this pool, I may as well <laughs> take a look at this. <laughs> there they are. That's what they look like. <coughs> Get 
Park is home to a small herd of longhorned steers. Their presence is a nod to the north unit's connection to the Long X Trail and the area's rich ranching history. Where two brothers on their team cutway from a herd of 4,000 longhorn cattle through Little Missouri River Valley in front of you. Wow. A long, grueling journey from Texas. Rumors of abundant grass sent them east from Montana into the Little Missouri Badlands. They must have found what they were looking for. Established along X Ranch, a few miles north of here, of this spot. There we go. Wow. There we go. We got to see them. <laughs> Down in the cellar. What you doing? Nothing. 